then secondly, he says, at, from Acts 17, 26, he says, and he made from one common origin, one source, one blood. And he made from one blood. I'm going to take us somewhere that a lot of us don't want to go. He made from one blood all nations. Jesus loved the little children. All the children of the world. Red, yellow, black, and white. They are precious in his sight because he made them from one blood. All nations of men came from God who made one man. God made one man, and from that man came every other man. We've often spoken of the Civil War, that there were those from the north who fought against their own brothers who were from the south. Or those who were from the south that ended up fighting against their own brothers because of migration and moving from the north to the south or the south to the north, they fought against each other. Fathers fought against their sons. How about this? Slave owners and citizens were beating, abusing, selling, and even killing their own blood. How about this? George Floyd. Derek Chauvin, who killed him, killed someone who was of his own blood. This is how the evil schemes of Satan have been working to destroy the beauty of the workmanship of God as it related to color distinctions. For years, I'm saying this, because this is what's causing all the unrest. I'm, I'm speaking to this demographic because this is what's causing the unrest. Not all of it, but a big portion of it, or at least what is being talked about right now. It was the fact of what white men have done and been doing and will continue to do to black men. And a lot of it is unconscious. A lot of it is learned. I grew up being called the N-word all my life. I remember one year between summer school and going back to college, I was umpiring baseball games and kids were standing together and they said, well, who's going to call our games? And somebody pointed and said, him. And another little kid says, well, I like that N-word because he calls them like he sees them. You don't compliment ends. It was a learned word. It was a behavior that he picked up. It didn't tie in properly in the grammatical structure. If you're going to say anything about me calling the game, is I don't want that end because I think that end's blind. I don't say I want that end because he calls them like he sees them. It's learned behavior that many of our white citizens have lived their lives in, unconscious, learned, systematic, institutional, just doing it because you're doing it. And we have to be aware, and I'm going to say it, that many have exchanged their robes for white collars and ties and are still making decisions at the highest level of organizations belonging to secret societies that are intent on holding anything that is not white down. Many whites have been seeking to, through numerous ways, to sabotage, hold back, redline, and discriminate, check this out, check this out, against their own blood. Wow. 
Yeah, what, 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 what did Jesus say about that? Luke, Luke 11, 17. All these unfair practices, covert operations, discrimination, all these things that are, have happened, they have now come to a head and they have blown up and God is saying, reset them. Reset the heart of man. Reset the heart of the black man. Reset the heart of the white man. Reset the nations. In Luke eleven seventeen, 17, Jesus tells us that, but he, well aware, talking about Jesus, he was well aware of their intent and purpose, said to them, every kingdom split up against itself is doomed and brought to desolation. And so house falls upon house. The disunited household will collapse. That's what he says. He says, he says, every kingdom split up against itself is doomed. We are a kingdom of people who the world systems has split us up against ourselves because of color. And Jesus prophesied to us and says, do that splitting and you'll see looting in the streets. Do that system and you'll see white men shoot innocent black men. Do that system and you'll see businesses have to get shut down. Do that system, walk in that system where you split, your, split up against yourself. <laughs> you need to look at your neighbor, just turn to him and just say ahead of him that, that you are myself. <laughs> you are me and we are us. We are one and we are one blood. And Jesus says, he says, if you split up against yourself, you're going to be doomed and you're going to be brought to desolation. Do you see the issues of our nation today? Before COVID-19, before this, uh, 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 this matter with George Floyd, we have been in a mess a long time, and perhaps it's been because we've missed the prophetic word of Christ who says, if you separate by color, you will set yourself against yourself. My arm cannot work against my hand. My foot can't work against my ankle. I can't work against my own blood. I can't have different blood cells over here and different blood cells over here. Blood can't work against blood. Blood must work as one. He says when you do that, the house falls upon the house. This whether black or white, has not been understood in the context of one blood. Our nation is disunit, dis disunified. It's not unified. It does not recognize that Jesus already did the work to unify us. We just have to take hold of the unification that's been done and it's not going to be settled in the street. It's going to be settled in the heart, man.